Right, next case. I'm gonna leave my favourite to last, I think, so I'll just pop that out. I'll try to pop it out, there we go. Right, so this is, uh, I think, one of these imitation ones. So it's got Spigen on the back, Spigen, don't know how to pronounce it, as I say. Uh, buttons built in, which are quite nice there and there. But again, this was um, four pounds from China. Comes in two parts, got a uh, plastic bumper that goes around the outside. I think that's probably meant to be metal, uh, but it's plastic. But you can't tell from a distance. Still does the job of protecting it if you drop it. And then it has this uh, nice roughened uh, back to it, which actually you know, feels good in the hand. So I like that. It doesn't. Um, it, the, the, the phone's a lovely thin phone, nice sharp edges on it. But actually, it's a bit like the iPads are getting so thin they aren't actually uh, easy to hold. So it's sort of a bit of a double-edged sword. So anyway, um, there is the uh, that's the phone case. I've got one in red there, which I think looks very dashing indeed. Got access to everything. The uh, got the speaker and the power jack there. And uh, buttons on the side, very effective. Um, again, this I think this is about four quid, five quid. Um, certainly good money. The camera's protected there, heart rate monitor. Presume that works. Let's have a wee look at that. Uh, actually, this... Um, oh, yeah, no, I won't do that because that's not working at the moment. Right, okay. So, uh, the app, for some reason, isn't working. It's not a problem with the phone, it's a problem with the app. Okay, so, right, final case is this uh, genuine recycled leather. So it's not actually, re uh, well, it is genuine leather, but it's chopped up and then remoulded and uh, all that kind of jazz. So it isn't actually, um, um, like, pure leather hide. It does feel like it. It smells gorgeous. Got this lovely roughened uh, exterior case. This is the most expensive of the lot, about seven or eight quid. Still not a bank buster, which is quite cool. Um, it's got a bit of protection from these corner sort of lug things here. Most of the protection is just from having uh, the front on it. So if you drop that whilst it's all enclosed, that's good. It's going to be safe in your pocket from keys and things. Access to the buttons, all good, as you can see. And speaker and everything down there. It's got a nice soft inside to look after the screen. Um, and that is my favourite. It says, uh, what does it say on the side there? Uh, guild cases. I don't know if that is true or not, or a Chinese imitation. Who knows? Oh, all right, sorry, one other feature is that this is a stand as well. So you can stand it up like that, which is quite good. There's a little flap at the back, and then that closes up. So this is the nicest case. Again, the camera is protected at the back, which is all good. So yeah, like that, like that one a lot. So that's, uh, that's my fave out the lot. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Subscribe if you have. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.